to another video. Here we are again. We are gonna make menudo today. Menudo is actually very simple to make, but it does take long hours to make. But it's very simple, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that today. So, for our ingredients, I do have six pounds of the um, menudo. I got the white one, and then I do have two of the beef feet, and then I do have six California chilies, I have three of the bay leaves, one whole onion, one whole head of garlic, and then I do have the guajillo, which we'll be using six as well, and then we have the puya, we'll be using two, and then I have these called morita, chile morita. I'm gonna go ahead and use one. These chilies gives it a very good flavor um, to our um, adobo that you do, or your chili sauce, whatever you wanna call it, for your menudo. We're gonna go ahead and devein them, clean them out, rinse them, wash them, and everything, and then I'll show you what to do with the water that's boiling. So right here, I put seven quarts of water. I'm gonna go ahead and let it come to a boil, and we're gonna add one onion. I already um, took off and then I have one um, whole head of garlic. I just chopped the top off and you're gonna put it all like that. And then your bay leaves, I have three. I'm gonna go ahead and put them. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up and let this water come to a boil. And we'll clean out our making. What about salt? We're gonna do that later. I don't know if it's a myth or it's true, but my abuelita would always say, don't put salt from the beginning because it'll make your carne dura, it'll make your meat hard, okay? So we'll just wait and do that later, okay? So our menudo, we're gonna go ahead and cut it to one inch and a half. If you um cut it smaller, when it cooks, it does shrink. So don't cut it too small. Maybe like this size will be good. Once we have it all cut up, we're gonna go ahead and wash it. You could wash it with a little bit of salt, just a little tiny bit, not a lot, or white vinegar to wash it. And then if you have like all this fat, we do remove it. A lot of people like to leave it. They say it gives it a lot of flavor, but then it'll be really greasy. So you don't want it to be too, too greasy. So if it has a lot of fat like this, Go ahead and um and remove it. And we're gonna continue cutting the whole thing. Okay, so our, our water did come to a boil already. What we're gonna go ahead and do is um you're gonna put your your feet, your beef feet, you're gonna go ahead and put them in there. I already washed them. We're gonna put this in first for like about 40 minutes before we add our menudo, because they do take a long time. And sometimes menudo takes a long time too. Sometimes it cooks fast, sometimes it doesn't. But we're gonna go ahead and add our feet. If you guys find um, tendones, it also gives it a very, very good flavor. I mean, I personally don't like to eat them, but it gives it a very good flavor. But um, I couldn't find any. Every time I went to like four different stores and they said they didn't have any, but that's at the same time to add them. If you do find them, add them. You can buy like two pieces so I can give it a good flavor. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and cover it up again, let it come to a boil for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then we'll add our menudo. Okay, so 30 minutes went by already. I already have my menudo here. I, um, I rinsed it. I put a little cap of white vinegar to wash it off, and it helps for the order as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our menudo. Once we put it in, we'll cover it up again Put it on, on medium heat and leave it for like four hours. Okay, so it's been three and a half hours. Going on four hours, we're gonna go ahead and take a look. And this looks ready. Once you see that the meat starts coming apart from the, from the bone or the feet, whatever you wanna call it, that means it's, it's, it's good. Even the menudo looks good too. So at this time, what we're gonna do is, make our chile. So I have all the chilies here. 
I did not cook them. I did not boil them. I did not roast them. I just cleaned them and washed them and they dried out already. We're going to go ahead and put our chilies. The reason why I did not put them to cook is because when you reheat the, um, let me cut this so I didn't like that little piece. When you reheat your menudo, like if you're going to reheat it, when you cook the chilies, I feel, my family feels that the menudo gets too dark the next day. So we're not going to go ahead and cook them. We're going to add a little bit of um, cumin, a little tiny bit. This is a half a um, tablespoon and it's a little bit, a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and put it in and then we're going to do half a tablespoon of oregano as well. And then I have two garlic cloves, piece of onion, and then we're going to add water. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this. So we have our chili already blended. And oh, it smells so good. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and pour it in our menudo. I'm going to strain it, okay? Because you don't want all that extra of the chili to go in there. So this is what you do not want in your menudo. So we're gonna go ahead and put this aside and then we're gonna put salt. I put one tablespoon. I'm gonna stir it. If you want your menudo to be more red or more dark, you could add any chilies you want. That's just, you know, an example of the chilies. Let's try the salt. Okay, need a little bit more. So, the salt's up to you of your liking. That's two. Two. I think that's good for us. That's two. The extra fat that you see around there, you could get a um. A spoon and remove it put it like in a in another plate and remove it so it won't be too greasy when you're eating it so after you pour your chili you cover it up and you let it um come to a boil again for like 15 20 minutes check make sure your meats it's the way you like it if you need more time leave it more time this is a traditional menudo but our family, and a lot of many families, like to put um, some maize blanco, okay? So I already opened it and I drained it. We're going to go ahead and put the maize when we put the, at the same time right now with the chili. A lot of people like to drain it, but this one's actually pretty, um, it's, I like this brand. It's pretty, it's a pretty good brand. So we're going to um, put our maize. And we'll cover this up and let this come to a boil. And we'll let it cook like for 30 minutes. Mm, it's so yummy. I forgot to mention when I added the chili and the grano, I did remove the onion and the and the garlic. So this looks done. Look at this. Everything's already well cooked. Everything's Coming off, like whoever likes pata, pata de res, oh, that's the way to go. I don't like it, but it gives it a good flavor. So let's go ahead and pour some of this. Let's turn it off. Oh, yummy you guys if you guys want the um it to get more thick you guys can leave it longer and we'll leave it like this so this is our final result once you have it served in your plate go ahead and get some cilantro you could garnish it however you want a lot of people like to put radish avocados whatever you want i have this menudo mix here but if you just want crushed peppers oregano it's fine, but if you add some, 
and then let's squeeze some lemon. Well, actually, these are limes. We have this hot sauce here. Very good. Or you could add your favorite hot sauce, your tapatio, whatever. But look at this. This is yummy. It's very hot, but I do want to try it. Let's try it. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Very good. I need to add some more lime. I like it with lime. And some tapatillo and everything. Mmm. Mmm. It's very good, you guys. That was our menu of the recipe. I hope you guys enjoy the video and you guys like it. It's very easy to make, but it does take a lot of hours. My mom used to leave it overnight, but on very, very low, and she wouldn't close the lid all the way so nothing will spill. She would put it like at 12 midnight, so it'll be ready for the morning. But just be careful, guys, okay? That's not recommended, but you know some moms. But um, I hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up. Share. Subscribe, you guys, if you guys haven't done so. And try it with tortillas, flour tortillas, corn tortillas, chips, tostadas, however you love to enjoy your menudo. If you have a hangover, hey, they say that's the best soup after a hangover. I don't know if it's true because I don't drink. But it's very yummy. Salt to your liking, your hot sauce, your limes, everything, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. One more time. See you next time. Bye.